Good evening, this is to Nerdist to Human, and welcome back to our Roxolani campaign. And you join us here outside the city of Paula, where we are, of course, going to soon head towards Antioch. Although the plague is still very much taking effect there, it is kind of annoyingly giving them a little bit of time, but um, in some ways that's fine because I am managing to organize all of uh, my troops over here before we head on further. Now, I did get a boat to try and uh, yeah, ferry some of our troops across, but um, we are now blockaded. We can get the ship out, so I guess it's blockading the trade, but um, yes, we'll have to get some of our troops around the rear here. Now, okay, I don't really know where they're going. We could just bypass them and head straight towards Sidon, but that's also plagued. So do we just jump all the way down to Jerusalem? Maybe we could, you know, that wouldn't be a terrible idea. Um, maybe we'll just take another turn or two just to organise ourselves. Yeah, let's just get back in the dock. <laughs> back in the dock. Uh, Thessalonica is under, uh, yes, a slight issue of uh, plague. And Pannonia's had a great flood. And strangely, it hasn't killed anyone. That's unusual. Maybe it's time to kill people on the other side of the border. As for, yeah, these guys over here... Uh, we just want to make sure we know where they are. The Huns are wandering around after losing Colonia Dacia. And, um, okay, something really, really important that I haven't noticed till now, and I'm a bit embarrassed, quite frankly, because I'm an absolute fool. But, 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 there's been a unit that's been conspicuous in its absence, and that's the Headhunting Maidens, who I seem to have forgotten to actually add to the building browser. I've mentioned a few times that in the... City, yeah, particularly Tom Stantinople. There's no point of making the new stables, but there is, um, or there should be, because I should have put this unit in here. So we're Virgin Cav. Now I've entered the added the head hunting maidens into the mix. Obviously, a very nice unit. Nine attack, eight charge bonus, eleven defense. I think we had some at the very start of the game, but maybe they got killed at some point, and that was it. So now we've moved the noble women the general unit that we can hire up to the fourth tier and the fifth tier just add some experience onto headhunting maidens okay so that's where we're at now which means that we can actually hire them in several places what it probably means is that several places now can't get a general anymore because that's now tied to the next tier up so okay yeah over here in salona we can't actually get the general recruits anymore we can get the headhunting maidens so um for anyone who's been screaming that in the comments for ages, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Took me a while. Anyway, this is the return of the Headhunting Maidens. We'll, uh, we'll get a big army of them sorted in good time. So yes, it's called the Warlord Stables, though, because it does give you the... Um, I noticed in the file, basically, the Sarmatians get their generals at that particular level. Um, hence the Warlord Stables, which is why I added the general there. But I guess I must have just uh, missed out on the Headhunters. Bit of a shame. Um, but it is what it is. Assassin's done some head lopping there, which is excellent. I don't know if we can see any more of their units right now, but hey ho. I just noticed that we do have with the horde symbol on some of our settlements. So presumably some units sitting around are still kind of considered hordes. That's really interesting. I hadn't really noticed that, but some of them have it and some of them don't. Intriguing. Anyway, I've clearly completely mucked up the game files by doing this, but it's absolutely fine. So, we have ourselves lots of boats getting retrained, our army over here. Yes, as you might have noticed, Sami has done a good job of clearing out some of the boats, but um, this fleet needs to... Maybe can split a little bit, but I'm a bit wary of them getting picked off, especially when it's got my nice army on it. So, I'm going to take some of the boats off. Just add them into there. This fleet. Don't want anyone from here. No, I don't. They're going to head off in this direction. You can get yourself retrained. And yeah, actually, you know what? We will just uh, make sure we do a tiny bit of merging just to make sure that we have a free space. We potentially want to get ourselves one extra screeching woman just to make sure we've got some units in the city. So he seems to know something's up. Possibly that there's a spy in there, and possibly that this great lad is over in this direction. Doesn't say transgression yet, because uh, we're in the Berber territory still. Um, oh yeah, so that's a Western Empire tower, so yeah, they'll see me enter their territory very, very soon. 
Um, but um, you will see if they get annoyed about that. He is hopefully going to jump with the Cyrene army and head towards Alexandria. I think we'll just wait for the play to sort itself out over here. And I'll take a moment to just get Paula settled down because it is having a change of religion. It will probably, yeah, it's going to take another turn or two to do that. Once that temple's built, we'll probably be able to get going. And hopefully the plague will have settled down and uh, we'll have hopefully done a good bit of job, good bit of job, good bit of work ravaging everyone. So we'll leave those troops over there and we'll probably just end our turn and see how the cookie crumbles. With a few of these boats smashed out of my way, we should largely be able to make it over to Cyrene today, which is very nice indeed. Continue to demolish them with sheer numbers and not much else. And yes, our army is ready to land. Okay, you sir. Oh, the gates open. That is excellent. We're going to head straight on in. Do we want to? Do we want to do that? Uh, what's in here? Oh, just one unit. Absolutely, that will be fun. Okay, let's head on straight in. It's only 82 men. I'm sure the ultra resolve will make this very easy. But I'm going to send everyone flooding through to their bloody, bloody death. Let's go. I've realised that because there's only one unit here, um, they're just going to let us run straight in. So one unit does have to sacrifice themselves just to actually, you know, walk on into the city and probably stand here for 20 minutes before they climb because they do like to take their sweet time. But no, on this occasion... Not too shabby, we've managed to take the walls. And what is the entry point for this? Oh, God and blast, we've got to do all of this. Point, um, we'll, have, we'll figure out a fun way to chop these down the plaza. We might well just send in the screeching women because I always find it quite fun to send Paulers in. But we've got the headhunting maidens, we'll send them in to have a bit of, a, bit of fun as well. In many ways, this begins with a classic bit of teasing. A lovely view, by the way, up here from the top of the temple. We're going to uh, pull them forward with the general. And then all the screeching women in the world are going to start at screeching. Yeah, there we go, Paula. That's what we're talking about. And with that, there's a few shots from the... Oh, no, 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 no. You don't get to run away. You don't get to run away at all. Right, you shoot them down. And hopefully they'll get back into this. General... Get back after them, pull them in. This isn't how this is supposed to go down. They are not Ciari, by the way, so maybe not the best day for the head hunting maidens. But it's fine, we'll send them around as well. We'll have ourselves a little warm up here for today's action. Apparently, we caught up with something. I'm not really sure what just happened there. So, the uh, head hunting maidens can get themselves over in that kind of a direction. They do have javelins, I think, don't they? Yes. Don't seem to be listening to my command right now, do they? They're currently reloading, so maybe get yourselves out of the way. And some of them have got themselves killed, unfortunately. But we'll get ourselves in a nice position. Come on, Paula. Get yourself around the sides. That will be magnificent. And the headhunter maidens can absolutely do their filthy, filthy, stabbing, chopping business. Oh, yeah. Good old chopper, chopper, chop. Now, they might die if they get turned around into, but they've done a good job of actually chunking them because they do have lots and lots of uh, armour piercing. So there we are. Okay, get the uh, get the fallers in to finish the job. Nice work. They're pretty well surrounded here. Now yeah, we can warm things up. It's a shame I quite like this unit. It's uh, it's reloading, but they are wavering. Seem to be giving up on all of this nonsense. General is apparently still shooting in. General maybe stop her shooting down her own uh, her own lessons. They haven't got much defence when it comes to dealing with all those missiles. There we go. Well done. And with that, it's fine. We'll, um, we've done lost a fair few from this, but we don't have any defence, so it's not exactly surprising. Water resolve would be a very simple affair. I, uh, I realise we're still shooting because I've given him the order, but there we are. Beautiful stuff, cheering on the plaza. We could have done that more cleanly if we just press auto resolve. It probably would have been about 10, but we'll take it. And with that then, we mop up one of their random territories out here in the distance. A very nice temple. It is pagan, of course, so we'll build a pub. Nice little tavern should hopefully uh, chill everyone out. Get a bit of retraining because I always imagine that we'd be able to get them retrained pretty simply. We'll, yeah, get an Indian archer just as... Just to give us someone to stand there. So the Romans haven't gotten too annoyed with me yet, but they might do in time. Okay, so at this point we've got a couple of spies of us. 
Let's just make sure that there's no one going to intercept our general, who I don't understand why he's there, but oh well, he is going to remain in that position. I'm quite happy to actually take these guys by, um, take these guys across the land actually, so we won't worry too much about that. Uh, boats will send the boats back to port and make sure we're able to repel some of this nonsense. Thessalonica, good old Thessalonica, has lost its plague long last. So yeah, Weaponsmith, always happy to get myself more of that. Up in the north, by the way, the Huns are actually doing something. They might take this. They've got... Hmm, is that enough? I don't know how good this force is. But they, they need a third army to be around this. Then they'll be okay, I reckon. But right now, not sure that's going to do it. Ah, oh, interesting. This army, despite me being around here, I think that's a sensible thing to do. I'll let them waste their time on that for a moment. Because, yeah, Antioch still with the plague. Albeit side or not, yeah, we might want to just think about how we do this. I might just leave one of them besieging it. That army will hopefully get damaged. Maybe they'll take it. I don't mind if they do. It keeps their war a distraction. And uh, yeah, we can maybe just send another army over to Sidon. I don't really know, but uh, we'll do something like that anyway. The final Olympic Games have been held. I'm not quite sure why the Emperor decreed them to be a pagan festival. Um, I'm pretty sure Ellis is under our control, guys. Do you want to... Are you sure about this, sir? He's fond of robot rhymes and everything. I don't know. Apparently we're a bit thick. So we'll absolutely take that for the time being. Paula has built itself a brand new sacred circle. Oh yes, we want some mines. That is exactly what I want to see. So over here then, yeah, we'll get the tavern as well after that just to make sure all is fine. They've been repelled, which is hilarious because they are obviously terrible. Antioch is now not plagued. And I'm going to take this opportunity. I'm just going to send... Oh, now this army's got a little bit more in terms of infantry. I'm just going to take a couple of the battered units. We want one chariot at least for the city plaza, I would say. And we'll just get you to stand there on the bridge. We will grab, I think, yeah, some more infantry style units and get the city under siege. Excellent stuff. Can we not sap anymore? Oh no, that's a problem on these huge ones. We might have to just siege it out forever and ever and ever. Okay, well, as for the rest of this, we can... Well, we leave those Indian archers outside because they're just there. Oh, we can't retrain. That's a bit of a problem. They're just there to uh, become the garrison. On which note, actually, Ankara, you need to be sending those forces around because that's what they are they are just there to look after it same with you over here good to have a cavalry unit just to make sure we can mop up any of the rebels which don't seem to ever exist in this empire which again probably is my fault but i don't know there's still no real point for the royal barracks by the way i don't really know what to do with that unless i decide at some point later to kind of create a modder unit in which i don't plan on doing but i might get bored and decide that that seems fun so we could probably do something with some of the models but i've not really done much of that before in terms of creating my own units i normally add assets across other factions and things like that but i don't normally create anything out of nothing so we'll see about that in time nothing too interesting going on in this part of the world um they are just kind of wandering around. They were chasing after the Vandals, but I think I might have just cancelled those commands because I'm a fool. So it is what it is. Roxolani territory. Uh, one day we'll get back home. But for now, yeah, until under siege, Cyrene is... Oh yeah, we are so close to actually getting that stupid faction air. 41, and a stupid wife. Yeah, she's a stupid. She's telling me, get the hell back east, sir. And other than that, all is grand. Okay, you, my good noble chap, can you just get us? I guess my other guy's going to walk past it pretty soon, actually. So yeah, maybe you need to go do these watchtowers. So I probably shouldn't have bothered doing any of that. Probably should have just been sending these ships back. Ooh. Defeat! That's annoying. Uh, this set of ships is in better shape. So yeah, we need to get them back to port. Damn it. 
is the problem. We're just not, they're just not very good, are they? We'll get ourselves a great market over in Athena, and we'll just continue with the economic stuff where possible. Weaponsmiths are always nice, and yet Thessalonica will give it another turn until I put everyone back inside. Weaponsmith before anything else once again, and um, okay, yeah, we've begun the siege over here. We'll just make sure we see what their next move is. Interestingly, they've decided they're going to take me on, which means we've got a bridge battle, but with the city army coming behind me. That is interesting. Kind of anticipate that might happen, but... Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. This could work out. This could work out. How many archers do I have? Only the three for the bridge. That's intriguing. So could we send the cavalry to go and harass the other army? Probably send the cavalry up to harass and leave the archers on the crossing. Probably because this isn't very much actually that's going to be crossing. So I think they will absolutely have that under control. So yeah, we'll leave them there. And this could be a very interesting way of taking over you know, taking over their, well, presumably their capital. What I see is their capital anyway. How is the general? Because uh, the old guy is dead, isn't he? Or he's no longer dead. Poor disciplinarians, the men like him, because he's not very good at making them actually march. Uh, he's been disgraced, because this is the man who lost his eagle. Ah, Sextus Flavius. Interesting. He does have proven loyalties, but that's because he's so useless that, uh, yeah, he knows he's got himself a pretty good deal by being in the army. Fine. Uh, commit sense first cohort. There are two of them. These are plagues, but I don't think that will matter to me. So um, this could be quite an important battle for us. It speed things up quite a lot. So let's head on in. Here we go then into battle and straight away we probably just need to make sure that we focus on getting this side of the bridge sorted out. So I'm going to immediately get archers up to the riverfront. They'll be shooting in fire um, in the case of two of them, but this one will not be. They are mostly on the non-shield side, of course. So we'll get all of those screeching women into position and they can do some screeching as well. As for all of this nonsense, we are going to get ourselves into position. We're gonna get one screeching woman back here. That will be lovely. And yeah, hopefully some good, good pouncing maneuvers from the flanks if that's what we need to be doing. So get everyone running, please. My Paulers are Paulers. I think I told them to scream in that over overrid their instructions. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just get yourselves over there, please. Get yourselves over there. So, committed entities first cohorts. Presumably coming in to cause us problems. That's fine. We'll just be getting lots and lots of missiles in the sides of all these lovely, lovely units. So, that's good. And if we get the chance to pounce with some of our cavalry, we absolutely will. What is going on over here? They are... They're crossing the river. Of course they are. I forgot about this. Okay. Peasants, they're in big trouble, to be honest. Um, no need to worry about any of that. Equite, maybe need to go. They're already routing down there. That's excellent. Yeah, just shoot into them. In fact, stick with fire. That'll be absolutely fine. We need to focus a little bit more on all of this, actually. Give it sense first cohort. Be nice for them to go. We'll let these three units... Actually, we'll just get you screeching. You already are screeching. So we'll get those three units in on them. You into them. And I think at this point, these are just here to skirmish and be difficult. Okay. So you just plough through. Get straight through to the archers in the rear. These were hiding in the trees. So that's their job as well. You are now going to see swing into those committed tenses. That general is surrounded. That's what I want to see. Good, 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 good. Over on that side, they seem pretty distracted. So let's not worry about that. My generals are doing their work. Here comes a rout. Those Equite Auxilia, of course, have got themselves in big, big trouble. And the chariots, yeah. Chariots, keep doing your thing. Actually, no, let's take them out first. Virgin Cav, go and mop them up. You complete the sandwich and the general's about to go. That should leave us in a much, much better position. You put your skirmish back on. Over on this side, 
Yeah, we got all the screeching we could possibly ask for. All of these missiles. Screechy, screechy, screechy. Missile, missile, missile. And yeah, they're going to get themselves surrounded in a moment. Down goes the general. And with that, all is looking excellent. All right, let's focus on this bit. Actually, we'll get the Paulies into position momentarily. Yeah, it looks like over on that flank, those cavalry done their job. These cav have done their job with the chariot, which just means that the first cohort over there needs to go down. We're going to get everyone just to pile on into them. And that should hopefully finish all of this off. Yeah, lovely stuff. Okay, you are potentially in trouble. And at this point, they are a first cohort. I'm just going to send shin numbers into them. Over here, we do actually have a battle to fight. Let's just get all of you in, and the angle should hopefully be working in our favour at this point. Shoot any units which are foolish enough to be... You can shoot fire at the back unit, but you need to go off fire. And you need to just shoot something in there. Excellent. Oh yeah, the Commander 10 to first cohort went down as well. That is just what we want to see. It's an absolute massacre, which is kind of ideal actually. There is official victory. All missiles off, please. Goats are excellent eating, especially on hungry, hungry nights such as these ones. And of course we did have, you know, the comment at the beginning to make your woman proud from this battle. I'm sure whether they love their women or their men, they will have a very, very proud woman at home tonight. They should be proud of themselves. What a glorious, glorious victory. And of course, because this game is absolutely ludicrous, everyone's decided to cross the river, not using the bridge. So well done, Paula. <laughs> Another day. <laughs> Another screaming Paula. Stop screaming and get running, you utter numpty. Everyone's drowning behind you. There we go. They are, they're truly fish women, aren't they? Very interesting style. I love the horses. Excellent work, horses. They're now tired. Of course they are. We'll never catch these guys because, of course, you never do on bloody barbarian invasion. Ridiculous. A great victory indeed, 692 kills. They have barely anyone left. They might even give me the city for that. Beautiful. Oh, indeed, the city does appear to be ours, and we're going to have to burn this one to the ground because it's Christian. Ugh. So, cathedral. What are we going to do to make this as happy as possible? We're going to build a tavern. The tax rate's going to be low. Could we afford to change this around, actually? Now, there are some neighbouring regions. There's only one neighbouring region for them, actually. Oh, that's very interesting. Right, well, there are still a couple units, a couple armies in here that probably need to be cleared out. But the Council of Carthage has taken place thanks to the Berbers. Lovely. I, well, they are Christians, so that makes sense. They can uh, go and tell us what they think about all of this nonsense. Uh, we'll go and grab some more units into that part of the world. Now, yes, I was just thinking... I should probably make sure that I have as many units as possible actually over here just to make sure that the Sassanids don't choose to be utter numpties because I feel like they probably will pretty soon. So in terms of my army here, there is no general either. So I'm going to grab those because Kaisara is actually the one that's on the border, not Sinope. So... Snip is less of an important deal, but it can get me some headhunting maidens, so we'll go and grab those. Now, okay, I think let's call it Kaisari. Of course, it is a Sedana Rea. So Sedana Rea will hopefully be absolutely fine. What I might do is just send not my spy, not even assassin. I could send my assassin up towards them just to kind of uh, have a bit of an impression made. Ugh, for Pete's sake, sir. He got himself killed. Not really worth killing him, is it, anyway? Okay, maybe we'll just stand this guy here. So they'll walk into him and they'll maybe think twice about it. Don't think that makes any difference, by the way. Okay, end of term report. Um, nothing too interesting. And another route of an army. Okay. Um, what are we going to do with this rabble, then? We'll do a bit of merging. We'll, of course, need to get some retraining done. And, oh, do we have ourselves a really nice foundry or something here? Just an armourer. Disappointing, guys. Swordsmith. 
Yes, okay. Very nice, then very nice. We'll get ourselves... Well, let's just retrain some of the weakened units first. Let's get the archers done because the archers might be what's needed in the short term. Although, we should get a new unit, so we'll just get... We'll get some of the foot archers here because we, we should probably be getting stronger units that we might actually be using going forward. Hadra held off, but since I've been distracted for long enough, I've got really no excuse now for not getting my army ready. So, hmm... How do we want to do this? Headhunting maidens being made here. I agree. We do want to send this army. Maybe what you want to do is train some units from Tonsantinople and send them over. So I think, yeah, we'll get some of these basic cap from Ankara. That will be absolutely fine. And we can just, yeah, go and reinforce Sinop and... and uh, Yes, yeah, Sedanarea, because they need to be better defended for when the inevitable backstab comes. And I don't think it's too far away at this point. Your Thessalonica back with its units. Same over here has a new family member sitting in there. These cities are absolutely fine. And our spy, let's go keep an eye on what the Roman heartlands are currently doing. Okay, your job is not actually to kill anyone, by the way, sir. It's just to actually know where they are, so... Get yourself over here and we'll just pretend to kill this captain because actually I'm not interested at all. So, Confess Mark and Mano, I probably need to get like a new diplomat up in this part of the world. Have a chat with some of those sorts of people. Okay, let's have a quick chat with the Sarmatians, maybe get some map information traded. They offer the following, they want some map information. I'm not willing to do that to be honest. And Sarmatians, likewise, maybe let's trade, not tribute, thank you very much. Just some map information, little swapsies, they have nothing to offer in return. I'm sure you must know something about the territory next door, but whatever, you're just a capricious tit. So, with that, let's not worry too much. We are, oh yeah, so, so close now. We found a road! You used to be so delighted. Okay, you've now found a road. Once you get across the border, we'll put down a new watchtower. And there's an army. It's a fleeing army by the looks of it, which is interesting. And Cyrene, what do we need to get here? Just some farming for the time being. We'll get a few Indian archers. Just our hold the fort as ever is the plan. And okay. As ever, you can never quite make it to the follow-up battle, which is always slightly irritating. Can we get this ship oh this set of ships anyway you know what let's send them up to salona's port that is not the worst idea yeah try and get them up in that direction and then we can just make sure that they get retrained nice and safely a couple boats from Cadonia, and we can't follow them up so we'll get ourselves back over in this part of the world um we don't anymore boats in some of these towns so we might as well refresh some of that sort of thing because it's always good to make sure we have something in our ports. See, so yeah, maybe we'll get two over here at Elysis, where we do need to just, uh, yeah, as I say, make sure we're restocking some of our units. Can you get anything more interesting? Actually, you can get the headhunting maidens, so grab a couple of those, actually. You want to be sending those over towards uh, yeah, Sedanorea as well. Okay, as for all of this, I think we should probably... If we're refreshed enough, are we refreshed enough? Well, actually, we've got more chariots in this army. So, I think, I think, I think, I think, we grab a couple of these, send them back there. You get in this force, and, yeah, we have a couple free spaces here. Actually, where's my... Oh, I just sent the ruddy thing away. That's irritating. Okay, grab... No, 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 no. We have a city. Come on, Mr. Spy, figure out how this works. Get in the city. Join the force, and then we can send this onwards. Okay, Antuk is actually quite happy for the time being, which is perhaps surprising, but we'll take it, I suppose. I'm just going to move we just move this army straight into there instead. You know what? We basically can, so um, maybe we just... 
send a couple units back for the time being. You get into that city and then you can all get in here. Oh, this is lovely. This works out great. Okay, so we have a couple extra units just joining the party. These two here. We can grab this force and we can just go and smash into the next army. So nice big battle in the field. Ooh, they have themselves some cataphracts. Okay, they're clipping Arei. So, very low on the attack. Charge bonus is fine, obviously, but yes, 32 defense. It's been interesting, uh, interesting one for us to try things out. Now, plenty of, basically, route fodder and some other battered units. Yeah, the plague has done a job on a lot of this, but actually the two strongest units, the Scholar Palatine and yeah, the Clemenare, those are both in good shape. Basically, a slightly lighter version of them or a slightly faster version of those. Um, right, interesting but we need to take them out. As for the reinforcement army, they'll probably melt. So uh, we'll just uh, slam them with the cavalry when we get the opportunity. Let's mop them up. Very interesting. They're in a kind of almost a column. I don't think I see that very often. Ah, okay. Well, we are in a very much a horse formation here. So I think we're just going to grab all of our cavalry and immediately mop up these reinforcements because they just need to go down straight away. So yeah, just run towards that road actually. They're very quickly moving to try and uh, get into their own reinforcement situation. So we will just pile on in that direction. As for the rest of the army, they can just stay in their formation and they can just posture their position for the time being. I won't worry about any more support for this. Yeah, if we can pick these guys off nice and early, I'd be very happy about it. Um, this is another battle, by the way, which again crashed at the start. Is it happening a bit more frequently now? Maybe it is. Uh, I certainly hope that we can uh, not have too many problems going through the later part of this campaign, because we do tend to find this on Barbarian Invasion, but we shall see about all of that. Uh, Eastern Archers are unfortunately taking a few shots. I'm just going to send the, yeah, more the proper charging cab into them. As for all of this, we are on loose for the time being. Um, but, yeah, we'll see about all of this. We should be okay to kind of get into some of these in the flanks. But I think we'll be fine. Yeah, you two get into there. You are going to get javelined as always happens. Didn't have these, these ones really should be in uh not <laughs> yeah their, their formation probably wasn't helping them okay if nothing else we've managed to distract them for a moment and stop them from firing eastern archers are irritating they have much better range than i do on any of these horses but we found these girls to be pretty darn effective so we'll just keep them plowing on forward you get into the back of them, you pull out of there, and we are going to lose quite a few in this, but at the very least, I don't think they're reacting particularly, are they? A little bit, a little bit of reaction from them, but not a huge amount. Okay, so you, get yourselves around their flank, or just run straight into them. You know what, do whatever the hell you want, why not? Okay, so they're going to start running in that direction. At this point, I'm happy to... Ooh, actually, I was going to say I'm happy to just do this but we need to go and finish this off actually they're not quite done yet are they okay yeah it's the limit a bit of infantry stuck inside all of that but we'll just use some sheer numbers at this point and make sure we mop all of that so um the rest of their army seems to be having a bit of reaction now we seem to have, yeah that's wiped out of this force get on top of that last commit tense and that's that army routed quite a lot of damage taken to us but Honestly, I'm quite happy just to take them out of the game early doors. We can probably go on to tight formation again with them. And send these two cav. Honestly, just leave them behind the lines. They can just do what they want at this stage. Right, get rid of the cavalry as much as possible. And you just shoot into those ones because I don't really want to have to deal with them. Now, if they want to come towards me, I've got a help. Got my chariots at the front, and I picked this particular force because I wanted to use, yeah, the chariots against all of this infantry. Now, they seem to be getting pulled into me here. I don't mind that too much. I don't mind, or I uh, just don't want them to be running, really. Okay, let's just get moving. Use the road to help us a little bit. 
you skirmish, 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 skirmish. Get yourself skirmishing, please. And, okay. Where are you, why are you running? You were doing a really good job there. Okay, I think unlike the uh, Sassani version, these ones don't have bows, so they're going to get themselves in a bit of a muddle with all, all these ones aren't going to feel too happy. Don't do that. Just come over here. Okay, you get yourselves up there. Oh, for Pete's sake. Right, well, at this point, you might just swarm and just see how a swarm against that unit goes because, unfortunately, Skirmish has got itself a little bit muddled. Okay, you just get yourself moving forward. I'm hoping sheer numbers can do the job, but it doesn't always work. They're wavering just due to sheer force here. Uh, just run through them. That works on infantry. It's going to work on the cav. And on this occasion, not really. Okay. Pull yourselves out of there. Pull yourselves out of there. We don't need to get ourselves completely ripped to shred by them. They were shaken, but not quite getting over the line. I think. I think we just pull these back to that position. And we just make sure we use the rest of the army at this point. They're getting a little bit weak and I don't want all of the routing going on. They've routed, um, which means their best unit is now gone. So as we start moving these ones forward, that you need to start running because you're going to get stuck slightly downhill if you don't start moving. So, chariots, 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 chariots. Can we just get ourselves... Yeah, that looks okay, doesn't it? So, chariots, you can plough into them. And to be honest, chariots, I think we just go. I think we just go. Okay, get all of our cav to go and deal with them. That'll be absolutely marvellous. These two just charge straight through while our archers do their job. Screechers, get screeching and get all the Matane in. Uh, you two generals, get yourselves over there. On that flank, the cavalry are mopping them up. And one of the chariots has got itself a bit stuck. The other one seems to be doing its job. Right, and at this point, yeah, the the, the Paulers are going to do their work. Excellent. Yeah, get yourselves into that position. Do get as many of these guild as possible. I think at this stage, is it missiles off time? I think it's missiles off time. There's like one unit still fighting in here. There we go, they're gone. They're gone. The ball has arrived and it all ended very, very quickly from there. Okay, General was getting himself into a flanking position, but he didn't need to in the end. Can they do a little bit of tidying up? So yeah, a bit of an interesting affair there. Just trying to deal with some of the new units that are around. Don't want to... Um, be letting too many of them get away. We obviously have these, yeah, these scholai over here who need to go down. So we'll make sure that they are indeed gone. You, there we go. That's a general. Looks like they're going, those kind of tenses are unfortunately going to get away. We'll just turn on the missiles for a moment. But uh, yeah, job well done, I would say. <laughs> okay, we lost a fair bit of cav at the start there, but. 15, well, not 1,500 tonnes, that's not what that number order is. But, uh, yeah, the digits are in a different order, which is 1,151. Pretty darn good. They did kill, let's put a 250, but you know what is oh, absolutely fine. A few have been healed, which is nice. But uh, overall, I would say a pretty effective job. And with that, then, we should be seeing Antioch very much under our control. Now, okay, it's uh, not... Let me put down a tower, I think potentially because he was in the way. Very, very stupid. Get out of it, sir. Right, so with that, we are in a bit of a vulnerable position there, but I'm pretty certain there's nothing they can do about it because we've got too many men. And to actually, might as well just get a spy first and foremost because it's actually the most important thing at this point because, yeah, there is a, an assassin just hovering right there. This army is also protected, so normally a good idea if you can afford right. it to just keep that spy with you. We're going to maintain that for the time being. Right, I'm going to go around, check how my cities are doing, because I can see I've got a little bit of money to spend. And a few of our towns aren't doing anything right now, and potentially they could be doing something. 
an interesting situation here. The Sassanids have attacked the Sarmatians. Now, okay, I am not necessarily a big fan of the Sarmatians, but the Sassanids, how much longer are they going to be my allies? Do I want them this close? I don't think they'll win, to be honest. Do I even want to be friends with the Sarmatians, though? We'll get back to that in a moment. What is the whole situation? So Sarmatians allies are me and the Saxons. The Saxons used to be my allies until the Frank situation. I think it was the Frank. It was the Goths, wasn't it? I think you ruined everything. Um, okay, they are enemies with a lot of people. How much do I want to... Hmm... I'm not sure I really want to be friends with the Sarmatians that much anyway, but I certainly don't want to be allies with the Sassanids forever. So this is a bit of an awkward one for me, to be honest. Let's just go and have a little look-see at the situation. Have they brought a decent army? I don't think it's going to be enough, no matter what's in it. Okay, not great, is it? Lots of levy spearmen and a few javelinmen. They're not going to win that. And I think ultimately, whilst I don't think the Sarmatians are a great ally, I would probably stick with them because I think the Sassanids will eventually backstab me. So I'm going to say that. And considering I can see an army right here, I imagine that that's probably a good call. Now, okay, this assassin has the plague. Can we just remove him? Um... Not quite. Not quite. Okay, we're going to get him in a position to be removed. That will be lovely. And uh, what are we going to do with you, Mr. Sassanid lad? Okay, I think what we need to do is just move this army back into Paula, by and large. It just makes the most sense, doesn't it? Okay, so horse archers can move back to Antioch. And then how much space is that? We've got four basic archers, screeching women. So we'll leave them, of course, and we'll leave the archers over here. And with that, I think we're just about good, aren't we? We'll leave one of those behind. We'll leave a full stack over there. And that should mean that we can get this army mostly back into Antioch as well. Now, okay, we might just be a little bit uh, not quite fitting in here. So... Might just leave a few of our units outside. Do we want to do that? Probably not either, actually. So this is a little bit awkward, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to send this guy out with a little bit of a cavalry escort. Just take them. Go stand on that bridge, sir. The rest of us uh, pretty much can make it. Send some chariots with you as well. Yeah, then it'll work out nicely. And you get back in the city... We'll maybe have a little think about some of these watchtowers. We could potentially do with one over here, actually. So we'll just move you up to that hill. They are certainly sending spies and assassins, aren't they? And hopefully these guys won't be causing us too many problems. So yeah, we need to send one of these back over to Paula. Alliance in Tatis, Sassanids and Roxolani, indeed. And the Sassanids and the Eastern Empire have called a ceasefire. Yeah, well... I, I should have read that before I made my decision, but equally, I've thus made the right one. Okay, end of term report. We are we're making tons of money, so it doesn't really matter what I spend. Tigran's a spice merchant. Very nice, sir. Very nice. He's a bloody pagan. Got a pet line and a spice merchant as well as just a general merchant. Yeah, looks like you're having a nice time over there. Um, you know what, though? Factionaire is on his way. He's almost made it back to home territory. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful. Okay, your job, sir. I'm sure you've been enjoying your little time with the Academy or whatever it is. It might just be the Sol Invictus that's helping you out there. I'm going to grab you and some chariots. And we're going to go and put up a watchtower. Excellent. Do enjoy a bit of watchtowers over here in Cyrene. And I think we can probably do one more turn and then send you back. I do like to punk a couple down there. Right, some headhunting maidens. That should be marvellous. We're going to continue to mop up. I could reheal, but I'd rather just mop up a little bit if I can. But honestly, that wasn't quite worth it, was it? But hey ho, it is what it is. As for the rest of this, you're looking a bit better defended now. I was going to send 
some of these units over from Tom Stanton Nopal. So ooh, yes, I think we'll just we'll just grab them. We shall grab a boat as well. I did that perfectly and then misclicked excellent work. So yeah, we'll send some of them over next turn. Tom Stanton Nopal will need some more troops though, so you know we'll 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 just grab some things, stuff and things. That will be marvellous. A couple of these units can maybe just go the other way just to make sure that we've got enough in terms of Santinople. I mean, at the moment, it's a rebel border, so it's pretty darn safe. But yes, I'm a bit unimpressed with the uh, with Assassinids at this point. Paula has itself some mines. We're now just working on a pub because why wouldn't we? And yeah, Antioch can pretty darn happy. With that pub done next turn, I guess we're going to... Yeah, demolish that church and we'll start sorting out the next stage of that. Alexandria, looking pretty empty. They do have some hippos over here. So where are the horse arches? But we should be able to out horse arch them, which should mean we're absolutely fine. One more Indian yeah, bowman just to go and fill up those ranks. And I think otherwise things are looking pretty darn solid. Um, the Huns, by the way, have, of course, completely failed. Uh, the Vandals are still bumbling around. Utterly useless. Nothing useful happening from any of these factions. They're all waste of everyone's time. Another in turn, another pile of assassins attempting to kill at Antioch, but not quite managing it. Okay, this one is... Uh, my days. This one's a bit more tricky, actually, because... I would absolutely love to support the Franks, but to be honest, a part of me quite fancy sticking with the Western Empire as long as possible. I see no signs of them backstabbing me, which, all right, obviously this is a clear sign of them backstabbing me because I've got their agents right here. Um, the Franks, it would make sense to stay allies with them in terms of just... Uh, a buffer on the far side but um no i think actually i think this might have just rebelled that might actually be what's happened here that kind of looks like a rebellion sort of an army and a rebellion kind of situation i think that's forced a war here but um western empire on the franks yeah that way around would make sense in that circumstance that's a really interesting one i think i'm actually going to stick with the western empire just hope that they don't betray me because I don't want to deal with that right now. We might well come to it later on, but if we can somehow maintain relations and just deal with the likes of the uh, yeah Eastern Empire first, I'd be quite happy with that. So, hmm, we can yeah maybe keep an eye on this war, but I think that was just a rebellion actually. It might well just be neutral in a turn time, but. Uh, Oh, we will see about that. Um, end of term report, more and more money coming into the coffers. Antioch's tavern is done, and that means it is time to upset them by smashing up the cathedral. It's actually very happy. Now, this is going to be getting us some good troops, so I probably won't worry about the health bonus, although being Antioch, I probably should worry about the health bonus. But I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to ignore that problem and hope that it goes away. So I'm going to build this watchtower. And I'm going to head back to the bridge. And you can join. Yeah, get the maidens to join up with them. Oh, this is nice. It's an assassin that decided to wander back. But they were definitely thinking about it there. Definitely thinking about that attack. Now, if they just, if they just see that out for four turns... I'm not sure they will win the Sally. They could be very clever there and just siege it out, at which point we need to finish this war and get on with the Sassanids because we do not want a super powerful Sassanids to take on. That could be absolutely horrific. But, very importantly, our force has made it home. A faction here, <laughs> who might one day be our actual leader, can start getting moving. Okay. Let's get this army organized then before we finish up for the day. Uh, we have one more of those. And, okay, three of our archers. Beautiful. Uh, a couple of those, Cav. 
Oh yeah, four of those. We've got our headhunting maidens, and we have ourselves an Amazonian chariot. Lovely stuff. Now this guy over here is just going to lay down that. He does have the other chariots, but it doesn't really matter because the army is not a big issue. Let's get one more virgin cab just to make sure Cyrene is happy as we're gone. But it is now time to march this army along to Alexandria. And I'm not sure how much the Eastern Empire have really. I don't know what they can do to fend us off. We've got forces here at Paula and I think we'll probably have to send the Paula force down or across to go and mop up some of this and the army can work its way along but we just need to deal with the eastern empire um arabia's fallen to the eastern empire rebels that's been like that for a while apparently so all right well let's leave things today antioch has fallen to us the army at cyrene is pretty much ready to launch its march eastward towards alexandria i wouldn't recommend this march in real life but uh it's fine on this game so we'll do that the fleet is uh, going to one day get itself done repair. We actually sunk some. Beautiful. Uh, these guys don't want to join the arrow. Just join the arrow with just one, okay? Be sensible. There we go. Okay, and uh, yeah, we're going to need to continue doing this, aren't we? Yes, indeed we are. So yes, as we continue to try and clear out the sea, we need to start thinking about yeah, the new political situation because... Barbarian invasion is always like this. It's so changeable. The Huns were a really good, solid border, but actually rebels, I'm kind of happy with it. The Huns failing to take... Yes, Campus Igelagesh over there. And, um, hmm, interesting. They're still my allies. I've stuck with them. They stuck with me at an earlier point, so I will repay that favour. But the Franks... I'm sorry, Franks, I will cheer you on, but ultimately... I want to try and keep the peace in the West while we finish off in the East. And ultimately, we don't really often battle the Sassanids in uh, Barbarian Invasion. It's pretty darn brutal normally. Their generals are impossible to kill. I reckon we can manage it with this force, but it's going to be tough. Of course, one day we need to make it back to our homeland. And maybe in the meantime, they're going to go and kill our allies or, well, turn them into a horde who hopefully don't come south to kill me. We shall see about all of that, but for now, we'll leave you on toys. This is Tenerbs to Human, and this has been our Roxanne, you will only campaign. Thank you, and bye-bye. Suffice to say, I could be doing a better job of, you know, not burning down my own city. Woo! That's the kind of hit we won. Let it not be said that our emperor doesn't lead from the very front to hack down the peasants. This is about to go horrendously wrong. It's absolutely fine. It just gives these guys a reminder to maybe aim better next time.